Hey, do you know that you can create your own YouTube thumbnails in CapCut? Let me show you. Open CapCut and create a new project. Import the background you wish to use and the video you are on so we can make cutout. Of course, you can also import and use your picture with the transparent background. Drag the background on your timeline and stretch it a little bit. You can choose any background that you like and it suits your theme for your video. Set the ratio to 16 by 9 and resize it to the whole screen. I will make it a little bit darker, so go up to adjustments, scroll down, I will drag the brightness to minus 20 and vignette to 30. Drag the video or your picture above the background, go up to the video, cut out, auto cut out and wait for the process to end. Then find the position that you like and click Q to cut the left part. Go to adjustments and set the sharpen slider to 45. Go to video, basic and adjust the rotation and size. Right click and create a compound clip. Then go to mask, choose circle, Move the circle to the forehead and rotate it if you need to. Go to the right and click on the reverse icon. Go down and set the feather to 1. Move up to the stickers. Go under trending and find this explosion sticker. Drag it on the timeline. Adjust its rotation and size. When you're done, you have to move it behind the hand so drag it down under the compound clip and adjust it some more if you need to. Let us add some text now. Go up to text, add default text, write your own and choose the font. Put it on the spot you like and adjust its rotation and size. Scroll down, click on stroke and choose the color. I will also change the text color and reduce the stroke thickness to 30. Now duplicate the text, rewrite it and adjust its size and change the color. Go up and add one more text, change the font, adjust its size and rotation and put it above the main text. I will also add CapCut logo. Now one more thing. I want this text to go behind my hand so I will just drag this text under the compound clip and the text will go behind my hand. All you have to do now is go up, click on these three lines and choose export still frame. You can then rename your file, click on export and your YouTube thumbnail is created. Thank you for following and if you liked the video please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.